I really wasn't gonna do a video today and yeah, because um, we were having a we are having a family reunion coming up in a couple of days so me and my father were at my aunt's place doing her yard making it all pretty for the family to come over and view now my phone was also off that had to go and pay the um, phone bill so that it get turned back on came out I'm still sweaty I'm still dirty and grimy and stuff so I come back and my friend and um, subscriber Don Nickings tagged me in a post uh, now today we're as a nerd uh, we already lost a, a, a magnificent magnificent man in um, Christopher Lee who you might know as Dracula and Sauron of many colors or Count Dooku so we already lost him but today lost another one if you haven't heard or pretty much blind when you click this the American dream Hall of Fame superstar and legendary wrestler Dusty Rhodes passed away and this now now I'm not gonna say that I was always a fan of his because I didn't really know about him until he came over to the WWE with, or the then WWF with the polka dot singlet on so I didn't really know that much about him but as I got older and I started looking through his stuff and I realized that this guy had an amazing career back when I was living with my roommates in Kansas City I actually watched the um, documentary about Dusty Rose and some pretty cool stuff that made me want to look at more of his matches and I was just fascinated by him as a, as a person so it I never I know that, that he was old and so um, let me just bring up the article I haven't even read the article this is just something my, my, my friend Don passed to me and then and, and we're gonna read it it comes this is off WWE's official um, uh, website WWE.com uh, WWE is deeply saddened that Virgil Runnels aka the American Dream Dusty Rhodes WWE Hall of Famer, three-time NWA champion, and one of the most captivating and charismatic figures in sports entertainment history, passed away today at the age of 69. Runnels became a hero to fans around the world thanks to his worth at it, his impassioned interviews, and his indomitable spirit. Moreover, Runnels was a dedicated father to WWE superstars Goldust, real name Dustin, Dustin Runnels, and Stardust, real name Cody Runnels. Caring husband and a creative visionary who helped shape the landscape of the WWE in his long after his in-ring career ended. So they extend their deepest condolences now. Now for me, um, as you can see, I'm kind of sa I'm sad about this because I believe Dusty was the first person that I ever, the first wrestler I ever knew who was successful but didn't have that that look that all the other cookie cutter wrestlers, the, the, the bulked up look but he made up for it with a great work ethic, his ability just to go in the ring and his charisma, my god the man was charismatic as hell he said he was ugly as thin but he was he was the son of a son of a plumber who came out of the gutter smelling so sweet and if any of you out there who are fans of um the WrestleCast with Matty J and TWK No, I every time I come on I do my this thing called story time with Dusty Rose where I tell these improbable crazy stories about Dusty Rose and um and and have a duty and then just be incredibly ballsy stuff. just look look up the stuff on Podomatic.com. it's there I, I don't know which ones I am just look look up any ones that I'm on and you you'll hear it and and I, I know TWK and 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 and, and Maddie got a kick out of me doing the whole story time with Dusty Rose when I would um with the Undertaker and and when he was at Golden Corral and I do a my impression was not very good. It was more of a caricature, but people got a laugh out of it. People didn't seem to enjoy it. I even have a video of me doing story time with Dusty Rose on it. So that just shows you how much I I love the guy because I a kid because I love. But and he also gave us 
and, and, and you and probably the most the moment that everyone in the current generation remembers is like last year when go I think it was last year when Goldust and Cody won the world tag team titles from I think the Shield yeah and and and, and Dusty was there and I've never marked out more in, in that moment than I have in a long long time and, and it was just a feel good moment to see the two sons of this legendary performer all both of whom who are fantastic performers themselves just the cult the, the climax of a, of a great story arc and I'm just and it was just warmed my heart to know to see these Rhodes men just hmm. well I, I don't know what else to say but Losing Dusty is gonna it hurts and it I know it's hurting a lot of people. But more specifically his sons, Gold Dust and Cody, or Stardust. So I expect a, a, a moving tribute. They can't do the WWE can't do it now because they've already taped all their shows and we and, and Money in the Bank might be dedicated to um Dusty Rhodes, or they may do a tribute to him on Monday. So I expect something big because even if you didn't know, even if you never seen him work in the ring, chances are fans nowadays know who Dusty Rhodes is, and he and he was done. He was a backstage talent like no one else. He, according to to the stories, if you can believe them, he was the one who helped Husky Harris develop the Bray Wyatt gimmick. And he just said, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, Daddy. Just, 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 just say whatever kind of shit you want to say, and and that and it just goes to show that his influence on the on the on the roster on this new generation that you don't always need to have a gimmick if you just are charismatic enough, and that shows with Bray Wyatt, and that, and that shows through his sons that you can you don't have to look like a superstar to be one, and. That is even more evident in Kevin in Kevin Owens, the man who has more in common with Dusty Rhodes than anyone. A man who is an immensely talented, even though he looks like he put away too many donuts. But so did Dusty Rhodes, and Dusty Rhodes is one of the all-time greats. He's up there with the likes of um. Uh, he's up there. And he's spoken in the same breath as Bruno San Martino, the living legend, Larry Zbysko, uh, Terry Funk. The Sting, hell, Ric Flair, the Nature Boy. Fifty years he's been in this business. Not many people can say they've been in the business for half a century. Dusty Rhodes is one of those people. So, after this, what I want you guys to do, go up on YouTube or go on the network if you have it, and just look up some of his old stuff. Look up his documentary or just look up anything where he's just talking because he has a wealth of knowledge. The man knew how to cut impassioned promos and just ooze charisma. He oozed charisma. So, so yeah, that's my video. I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna end it with um, the link. If you wanna talk about your favorite Dusty Rose moments, whether it be matches or promos. Just leave them below and just share with everyone else. I'm not. I'm gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask you to click an advertisement or or drop a dollar in the bucket. No, no. I want to just take this time and remember the life of this magnificent, magnificent man, the son of a son of a plumber, the American dream. Take some time out and remember this man. However you want to remember him. Maybe remember him as the workhorse that he was in the 80s. Remember him for the, for, the, for the funny polka dots he wore when he came to the WWF. Remember him as the father of two extraordinarily talented um, wrestlers in, that are in, in this current generation. So, just remember him. Till next time. It's a Shintai Curl, that dude in the straw hat, saying goodbye, good thing, good day. We're going to miss you, Dusty.